You can't help but feel sorry for the Brown family. They lost their father and just when they were trying to move on, we're in the middle of a huge lawsuit. Let's look over how things got this far, shall we? Billy Brown passed away in early February 2021 at 68 years old, succumbing to medical conditions and been battling for recent years. Fans got to see some of the battles in the last couple of seasons when he had to be rushed in and out of the hospital. He was initially diagnosed with having respiratory illnesses due to heavy tobacco intake at his high altitude residence on top of the Washington Mountains. However, his most recent visits in late 2020 showed that he also had hard problems making him more severe. He was advised to quit living there, but he ignored medical professionals' warnings and instead his children shifted and his wife, Amy Brown's cabin, a little below the mountain as a result preventive measure. It was all for naught as Billy would die shortly on February 7. They seem to have begun filming at the time of his death since the crew members of the show were the ones to call 911 after Bear Brown notified them that Billy was unresponsive. The sheriff's deputies responding to the calls to noted in their accounts the presence of several crew members of the scene. The EMTs had arrived shortly after first call an airlift evac, but canceled after concluding that Billy could not be resuscitated and was long gone. Shortly after Billy Brown's death, Amy Brown filed to take a studentship as large estate, whose overall value was estimated at around $400,000. She was granted to represent the estate as widow in the absence of any will be the life patriarch. The four parcels of land that Billy bought in 2018 made up for most of the estate's worth, but it also included the family's housing, livestock, furniture, and other household items. Billy's $40,000 worth of medical fees was also deducted from the remainder of his estate. The Brown family would have been the right of a man named Robert Bond did file a lawsuit two months after Brown's passing for $500,000. The former physician filed a civil lawsuit against Billy's estate for breach of contract, failure to pay him dividends of the said contracts. His relationship with Billy or how they met isn't clear, but he claims to be an investor who paid Billy $20,000 in 2009 in exchange for 10 percent of royalties from Billy's production company and the sale of his authored books. He paid another $10,000 a little later again the second contract, this time for 10% of the lifetime earnings from all his books, TV shows, and movies, and any other productions. The attorney for Billy's estate has already filed a lawsuit to be dismissed because of lack of subject matter jurisdiction, meaning federal court where the case has been filed does not have the power or authority to hear or rule out the case, as per The Sun. It remains to be seen where the case goes, but it is important to learn who this mysterious form of physician of a plaintiff is. He is said to be a disgraced doctor who has faced criminal charges for federal crimes and is currently still serving a sentence in the present. He is facing a prison sentence for fraud charges, but has avoided many other allegations as part of a plea deal. According to U.S. Attorney Barb Slapcorn Mon stole $3.5 million in staff fabricated patient charts. Slapcorn added that his deception continues right to this very day. As a part of the plea deal, Mon had to surrender his medical license and was sentenced to serve 63 months in prison. Let us hope that the Browns were able to win this case so they can just focus on moving on their lives without their patriarch around anymore.